What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Gears of Dreadlands T16 build for you guys, and we're gonna talk about this build, how good is it, like is it good compared to the strafe multi-shot build which we did a little bit ago and i'll link that above guys but for people who really like the gears of dreadland set but you know everybody can strafe now you can strafe with everything so we're going to go do a t16 riff we're going to talk about the build and then i'm going to give you my thoughts in comparison to the uh you know strafe multi-shot build which i think is still better but let's get into it okay so again this build super strong guys very easy to play you guys know the god dh it has been around for a very long time and up until last season when the marauder set really became good and got a big buff this was it the god dh was definitely the best build for demon hunters for a hot minute so now the big question is coming into this is you know t16 is it still good for t16 is it worth running compared to the ue you know multi-shot strafe build inside the game you know i think when it comes down to it the bread and butter is is that the multi-shot is still going to be better now when it comes to playing the build it's the same all you're going to do is hit your last non-channel spending ability or spending ability which is going to be your devouring arrow and then you're just going to strafe around and then we have shadow power and smoke screen for just more move speed all that good stuff guys and then you know we have preparation to kind of give us some stuff back but for the most part the build still plays the same there's nothing too different about this t16 build um, but i wanted to go over it so when it comes down to it guys i think that the multi-shot is just better when we get into the gear i'm going to talk about why uh but the bottom line is that multi-shot just hits the whole screen you know all at once you're going to go through monsters a little bit easier i think and just a little bit faster but what god dh does really really well is that you know we're able to su just sustain and just have a little bit better defenses i think in some cases but otherwise they're so close it's hard to tell but the biggest difference i think is that multi-shot is just going to hit the whole screen it hits the whole screen multiple times and you just kill everything just a little bit quicker you know are there in some instances where it might be a little bit better maybe but otherwise multi-shot is just better right now i think it's going to deal more damage and look at that the build is still really good guys like if you wanted to farm with gears and you're an og gears fan i think this works out just fine guys we just crushed that rift we got to grab all this stuff we need resources bad okay I'm down bad for resources. All right, let's jump into the gear. All right, we absolutely crushed that rift, guys. So let's get into the gear. Okay, so it's it's no surprise. Everything is kind of the same from the last season when it comes to T16. You're going to need five pieces of the Gears of Dreadland set. Everything comes from momentum stacks that you use with your primary ability, Hungering Arrow, and then we strafe, shoot out Hungering Arrow, and deal a crap ton of damage, okay? So Gears of Dreadland set with the Hunter's Wrath for primary skills deal more damage and attack faster. Um, we're going with the Depth Diggers on the Pants for primary skills deal more damage. Everything's with primary skills. Then we got the Wars of Chain Arm Guards for just more speed. Okay, uh, we're actually going to get rid of some of this stuff while we're going over this real quick because I, I need the room. I need the room, man. Get rid of this crap. We're not even, we're not even, ooh, flavor of time. We're not even looking at some of that stuff. Okay, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Okay, so we got the chains just as we destroy stuff, we move even faster. Uh, into our rings and amulets, guys, we got Stone of Jordan for just more damage. Then we have uh, the Ring of Larceny for even more damage when we fear stuff, or excuse me, more speed when we fear stuff. Squirt's necklace for double damage. Our weapons that we have is the nine. The ninth series satchel, which uh, gives us the hungering arrow, pierces and deals more damage. And the power that we have on it, see that's the thing, with the God DH set, there's no real good power out of the three, okay? Because a few of them don't even work. So we can't do the strife one, that doesn't work for us. And the other one for, for the, um, what is it? The uh, cluster arrow, that one doesn't work for us either. So. The only one that we can do is the Casting Vengeance unleashes a barrage of rockets that deal a lot of damage. This, in the end, you're going to be moving so fast, I don't even think you would really want to 
it's hard to tell that this works really effective on T16. I think it's going to work just a little bit better in our speed GR and our push GR builds, which we'll talk about in a different video. But that's the ability that you want on there. So um, if you want to max out something, definitely do the satchel and just get vengeance on there. It does do some significant damage. Uh, and then, of course, we got Yang's recurve. The multi shot aspect doesn't matter, but we want this for the resource cost reduction. So that way we can continuously fly around the map. OK. Our legendary gems, we're going with Boon of the Hoarder, of course. Simplicity strength, just to make sure we stay alive and we uh, do increase damage with our primary uh, skills, which is the entire build. And then take good for uh, more damage and then armor stacks. OK, so that is the gear for the build, guys. In the cube, we got Dawn. We would need this at 65% along with a 37% or not. We would like 37% cooldown um, normally to get a uh, full uptime. But with our uh, follower, we're able to achieve this. This actually needs to be higher, but that's okay. Uh, then we got gold wrap because on our follower, we have Averis Band. So Averis Band with gold wrap makes us basically invincible. And then, of course, ring to, to max out the gears of Dreadland set. Skills and passives. Hungering Arrow, Devouring Arrow for Pierce. Strafe Drifting Shadows for Speed. Uh, smoke Screen of Special Recipe for just invulnerability for a second. Shadow Power Glide or Shadow Power Shadow Glide for more speed. Preparation to get back all of our discipline. And then of course, Vengeance Dark Heart for increased damage and damage reduction. Passives, we have Blood Vengeance for just more hatred regeneration and uh, more discipline gain back tactical advantage for more speed ambush for more damage and then call of the week for more damage okay so that's the build let's get into the stat priorities guys if you are going to play this in the helm you want dex uh crit crit uh chance and then instead of all resist you want this to be um the strafe damage or the hungering arrow damage rather uh we don't have that on there but i'm just going to give that to you guys the shoulders, the same thing. We want to, um, instead of all resist, we want, I think it's resource cost reduction. And then here on our gloves, we want dex, vit, crit, crit. Uh, we also could swap out uh, all resist for area damage. Same thing here we would want, instead of vitality, we would want dex, crit, crit, all uh, area damage. The uh, vest, we have dex, vit, armor, which is great. Belt, you got dex, vit, armor, and then hungering arrow damage. Pants is Dex All Resist Hungering Arrow Damage. Boots is Dex Vitality Armor, and then we would want All Resist. Okay, we have Move Speed on here, but we can't get All Resist with this particular uh, stat priorities, but you would want All Resist. Uh, our Bracers, you want Cold Skills, Dex Vit, Crit Chance. On our Squirts Necklace, you would want Crit Crit and then Area Damage probably, but Dex is just fine. And then on our Rings, Cold Skills, dex and then increase damage against the leech which is great and then on the ring you want dex vit and then this really you would want dexterity crit crit we don't have that so but those are the stat priorities that you want to go with on the satchel you want dex attack speed crit chance hungering arrow damage and then the life would be area damage instead we didn't get the perfect roll on there but uh weapon you want cold damage damage dex area damage resource cost reduction easy peasy those are the stat priorities for the build guys um, so all in all, I think this build is really good. If you do feel like you're um, a little too weak, you could put in a uh, elusive ring instead of the stone Jordan. And then you put in the uh, wraps of clarity for the arm guards. And then you would just put the arm guards in the cube instead of the gold wrap. So that is one change that you could make to the build. Otherwise, this is the God DH T16 farming build that I think is really good. In the end, though, the multi shot build is just better. You're just going to hit more targets, hit more monsters, and kill things just even faster, especially off screen. So the build is still good. Nothing really changed from it from last season. But with all the new powers and the new things that you can do uh, with the Demon Hunter, as far as strafing with Impale and Multishot, it's just better. So Gears takes a, a step back, but I think next season they'll go right back up to the top. So that's it for the T16 build, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think about this build in compared to the T16 uh, multi-shot strafe build that we did? Let me know which one you guys like. Any thoughts on those? Let me know down in the comments. 
If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been great. We are pumping out videos left and right. So thank you guys for all the support. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.